Now we understood how to customize the date format for any date field during the serialization with the JSON builder. Now we're going to learn how to customize the field name using the JSON builder. So to do that, go to the GP object, GB dot, that means JSON builder object. So here you can find the method called set field name strategy, right? So here, if you look at it, so we have a method where we can actually set the field naming strategy. So it takes the field naming policy as an argument. Here you can say, I want a field name, the time of serialization, I want a field to be generated with the upper camel case, with upper camel case with space. For example, let's try with what you know, any, any one of them. So we, you can see the identity, lowercase with dot, lowercase with dash, lowercase with underscore, then uppercase camel case and upper camel case with space. Okay, let's, as of now, by default, you can see what, you know, identity. Now let's try with what, you know, lowercase with dash. Let me simply run this example, you'll get an idea. If you see that, so previously, we have what, you know, the customer object here, we had a three field, customer ID, customer name, and then customer date of birth, right? So now you can see that we apply the new naming strategy. It's applied with what, you know, lower case and what, you know, dash. If you want to try the different naming policy, yes, you can do that by changing. For example, let's try uppercase camel case, right? Let me run this example. So now you can see that we have a customer ID, but we have what you know, the uppercase camel, right? So upper camel case, so you can, you can say like that. So or else, if you want to try with something else, let me try with one more. Lowercase with underscore. Right, let me run this program. Here we go. Right, we got a lower case with underscore. So likewise, you can actually change the field name policy by by setting what? Set field name in strategy. If you want to customize, for example, let's write a customize. How to customize this? Now let me do what? New field naming strategy class. So you have to override a method called translate the name. Here you will get a field name. For example, here what I want to do, I want to store this field name, name equal to field dot get name. So you will get what you know, all this field name. So I'll get what you know, this customer ID as a field name, I'll be storing into what you know, this field name. Now what I'm trying to do, I'm gonna check if the name it starts with customer, right? If it starts with customer, I want to replace this name with name dot replace, replace the customer with cus, right? If it is not a customer, I want to pass as it is. Now let me save this. So let me run this program. Now you can see the output. See, we changed what you know all the customer to cus. So likewise, you can actually change the field name policy or field name strategy using what you know the existing policy, or else you can provide what you know the customized policy. With that, you can customize the field name when you are trying to serialize the object.